I, I, I did watch it. I was, I had a steady dose of uh, the Albany Devils on video yesterday, but I, I picked my head up long enough to, to take that in. Yeah. How did you feel when you saw it come up for the blue and white? It was good. You know, it's great TV. It's great TV uh, watching. It's uh, so a lot of suspense and certainly happy for, for the Leafs and the organization and everything like that. So it's a big day for the city. From your perspective, how intense is training camp going to be next year for this organization in terms of the battle for jobs? Yeah, you know, I, I'm sure it's going to be. There's a lot of players here uh, and, you know, that have just been with the organization now. You talk about uh, the players that aren't that aren't here and haven't been here or, or will be joining the team through free agency and, and uh, whatnot. But for our guys that are here, um, they know they're competing. They've been competing for call-ups all season, and that's going to extend through. And, and I think that's part of what uh, the motivation is for the guys to stand out to the playoffs. So, uh, you know, the, the players know that they're part of the plan and part of the future, but they also know that you can only have, uh, t you know, 22 or 23 guys on the roster when they open up next year. So that, that really, for a lot of these guys, training camps perhaps already started. What does it say about uh, Travis and Andreas that they get a chance to skate uh, with you guys here in this first practice? Well, it was just a chance for them to get acclimated, we, th we felt having them a part of this group as opposed to, to our reserve group you know, gives a, a chance to really get a feel for, for the level of play and uh, for our team and what we're trying to do and then also for us to get a chance to see them with our guys. So uh, there are two new guys that have come in and they're really the only two guys that are here now in either of the two groups that uh, haven't been with us at any particular time. So it was a chance to get them in and get them acclimated. Three years of pro hockey, I believe, for Andreas. So most certainly I would think would smooth his transition to this level. Yeah, he's, he's got experience that others don't have. He's obviously coming off of winning a championship, had a terrific season over in Sweden, and uh, the big thing now is just adjusting to North America. You know, he's, he hasn't played games on a smaller rink and uh, hasn't played North America, anything like that, so there's certainly some adjustments there that he's going to have to go through, and you know, it was a tough skate for him today. I think from what he told, tells me, that was his first time on the ice since winning the championship and, and <laughs> traveling over here, so it was uh, some heavy legs, I'm sure, but I thought he looked good. Do you remember him much from Collingwood last summer with all those 60-plus guys out on the ice? I do. I, I remember him Remember him well. I, the way we structured the camp out there, we, we kind of, you know, put guys in clusters, uh, you know, and, and he was with Willie, Willie's group and, and Kapanen and that, so so worked with him quite closely there and you can certainly see that his skill set is, um, is good and, and he was in the proper group in terms of, you know, the, the level of talent that he has. Do you think it would be an opportunity for him, uh, maybe a long shot, but to get in to one of the playoff games at, at any point? Well, I, I think, uh, I don't know if long shot is the right mm -hmm. term, or not, but we're just going to give him a chance to get acclimated here. Don't want to put any sort of pressure or expectations on him. We want to get him comfortable and get a feel for for our game and playing on the rink here and just the level of play and all of that kind of stuff. So we'll take it all in and we'll make a decision and when it comes time to have to set our lineup. Were you happy with the level of play? How did you assess it? I thought we played well. Uh, I thought that we had we had different uh, different periods of time on the road out in Bridgeport that you know that we got outplayed. Frankly, and they come hard. They're a team that plays fast and play hard and very straight ahead to come at you with a tough four check. So there were times where we struggled with that a little bit. Um, but I thought we played responsible. We didn't give up very much at all uh, defensively. And uh, we got leads and then took care of the puck and, and you know, really didn't look back from there. And then in game three here on home ice, I thought at even strength we were playing very well. We had the game well under control. We took too many penalties, got behind, and then showed some character in finding our way back. And it was in a good, solid, sound uh, playoff environment here in Toronto, which was really nice, something we didn't have in Bridgeport. And, you know, those experiences will certainly help us going into the next round. So if I had to, to uh, sum it up, I thought that we played well, not perfect, um, but it's a good stepping stone for our guys for what's to come. You said at the beginning of the series that uh, having the two goalies was a, a luxury for you, and it turned out you needed both goalies. They, they both contributed in their own way. Yeah, and you know, that's Especially playoff hockey. That's playoff hockey, and, and that's, you know, that's what you're you need you know I look at NHL playoffs it's, it's happening more and more it seems the two guys are having to be counted upon at different times so so we like that we got two young guys that are motivated and want the net and and, and both guys have shown that they can get the job done for us.